This bag is weird, creepy and cute. And I love it. Hi, this is Ariel from France. Bonjour. Welcome to this channel where we make fun costumes and weird stuff. It is February, the season of Valentine's Day. And I don't like Valentine's Day. But what I do really like is a theme. So I'm going to make something fun on the theme of love. There is this very cute style of purse that I have seen in many different uh, versions. And I'm going to make a purse in the shape of a heart, but very sparkly. <laughs> the heart is a vital organ that pumps blood through the circulatory system. This one is going to pump sequence. First, let's make the volume of the bag, which is constituted by the biggest chambers of the heart, the left and right ventricles. To make this silly bag, I wanted to use only things that I already had in my stash. Because I do have quite a lot of things. Some might say it's too much, but I don't listen to them. Shh. Just look at the pretty fabric. I took out all the red scraps and started from there. No. No. Nope. Oh yes, shiny. I also have plenty of leftovers from the Maria Carré dress. The sequins are too fragile. So I'm using two layers of this cotton fabric. I will use this as the structure for the bag. I'm drawing roughly the shape of the heart. As usual with uh, organic shapes, it doesn't have to be really precise. That's why I like them. With just those three dots, I have the volume I need for the bag. The size of it is way bigger than a real human heart. But this is going to be a purse. And if I can't fit my phone in it, I will never use it. I am marking the dots. And I use this as a pattern to cut four pieces. Two for the front, two for the back. And I cut roughly the same shape with the sequin. I sewed the dot in place. Then I attached the two layers using a zigzag stitch. This makes a good base for the structure of the bag. And I can roughly lay the sequin layer on top of that. The oxygenated blood comes from the Pulmonary, pulmonary veins into the heart and it goes through the aorta to be distributed wherever it's needed. This one is made using some uh, leftover from uh, this. I'm just folding this little piece and I'm sewing the general shape on my machine. Again, it's organic, so it doesn't have to be really precise. It's fine. I cut off the excess. Then I made a hole and I can flip that little piece inside out. I like the shape, so to give it more volume, I'm just stuffing it with some leftover from a pillow. This bag is basically a plushie made of sequins. After the oxygen has been used, it comes back to the heart through the vena cava. To roughly follow the diagrams, I want to add a lot of blue. So I'm layering this scrap of red sequin with some blue lace. I think it gives it plenty of texture. Same as before, I cut a hole to turn it inside out. I just have to be careful not to cut the lace inside. And then I'm stuffing this little sausage. It goes through the right atrium, then the right ventricle, which pumps it through the pulmonary artery directly back into the lungs. This blue sequin is just two blue, so I'm just layering a piece of lace, just as before. And it makes a reddish blue that I want. Sewing the shape, cutting the excess, a little hole, and turning it inside out. And sewing this little plushie closed. I wanted to make the ventricles more visible, so I added two more pieces in a red with a red lace. Just two simple potato shapes. Then I just needed to attach all those elements by hand using a simple thread. It didn't take too long. I wonder if that many people celebrate Valentine's Day. In France, it's not really a thing. It's mostly about commercial trying to sell you uh, chocolate or jewelry or I don't know. The heart is a strong muscle and needs to be supplied in nutrients and oxygen. And this is achieved through the coronary circulation. There are arteries and veins all around the heart. I have some sequin trim leftovers that I will use for this. I'm just trying to place them in an interesting way. And then I can attach them by hand. 
all the main elements are done. So I am trimming the excess uh, red sequin and I'm also cutting off the vena cava because it's too long. Trust me, I'm a doctor. A bit of tidying up. If you ever use sequin fabric, you will have these everywhere. I won't do any decoration on the back. It's just the two layers of cotton and the layer of sequin. Now I'm sewing the zipper, which might have looked better in red, but I didn't have any. And the strap will be also black. Anyways, so you just need to pin one side of the zipper, sew it by machine, pin the other side and sew it again. Then you can flip the object uh, inside out, just to check that the thing lays correctly and closes properly. And then we need a lining. I'm using some scrap cotton for this, which is quite an ugly color, but it also reminds me of flesh, so I guess it's appropriate. I sewed the pointy part by machine and I'm pinning it in place, making little pleats to fit the side of the seam. This is just sewn by hand and we have a lining. Now the bag is almost done. I just want to change the handle of the zipper because it's pretty ugly for a fancy bag, I mean. So I'm cutting it off with pliers and replacing it with some beads on a wire. Those are just plastic beads that I had around, but they are in matching color. It is definitely more elegant. Now for the strap of the bag, I'm using this kind of rope. I think it's made for curtains or something. And it is unraveling very easily. So I added tape just to maintain it uh, in place. I'm putting it through a little ring and then I can sew it shut. This is a button thread. If I twist it around the loose ends of the cord, it looks nice. And I can remove the tape. To attach this to the bag, I'm using this little bit of uh, scrap leather where I can make a hole. Then just one rivet that goes through the bag and the strap and I can crush it with a hammer and it stays in place, very nice. I made a tiny mistake with the placement of the straps and it messed up the balance of the bag. And removing rivets is not really an option because I had made holes for my bag. So no worries, I will just hide my mistake. I'm cutting the excess and I hide it below the organ part. Ni vu, ni connu. This will be our little secret. The bag was done, but I added a few more sequins just as decoration. This was to make the shapes of the veins that I made earlier a little nicer. Fortunately, I had plenty of scraps of sequin and I can use that and sew it by hand. This bag is weird, creepy and cute, and I love it. I have no idea where I'm going to wear this, but it's adorable. Would you wear that kind of thing or is it too strange? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this silly project. Allez, bisous! Coronary or circulation which is constituted by... <laughs> oh!